Paul Fritzner with head coach Jim Flannery. Coach, you're trailing by 10 going into the fourth quarter. You come away with the victory. What were you telling your team? <laughs> well, we're not a pressing team, um, but we pressed, and we I thought we kind of got them a little bit disruptive, and I thought we attacked. You know, we when you're down, that, you know, 10, you got to be a little bit more aggressive offensively and just be a little more shot ready. But I thought we got a little bit in transition. We had kids who ran ran the floor hard and and uh, we made so we, we were a little bit more at the basket instead of instead of just settling um, at the three point line. So, but I thought our press was our press was good uh, and uh, you know just a good job by our players at believing you know because we haven't we haven't been very good on offense lately and we weren't very good today. But uh, I thought we just kind of hung in there. Agnew was held scoreless. Faber only gave you two points, but you overcame it and won. What does that say about your team? Well, yeah, I mean, at halftime, they were 0 for 11 between them. And I said, well, we're only down seven, and they're going to, you know, they're going to get us some buckets in the second half. And then we got, you know, so I, it was good. I mean, we had a lot of kids. Jade Owens, I mean, just I'm really happy for what she's been able to put together this, you know, this last month or six weeks. Um, Temi Sarda made some plays. Olivia made two big baskets. So, um, you know, we're a team that's been that, that's been injured and, and haven't had a lot of continuity. So we have enough experience. If if our core kids, that core kid uh, or core group stays healthy, we can get better down the stretch. Creighton comes away with a one point victory, 53 to 52, over the Xavier Musketeers at the Cintas Center. Back to you, Mike. Well, Matt.